Hey, so this is the prototype of Blink that we made a while ago. Um, hopefully it'll give you an idea of a lot of the mechanics we have in mind. Um, obviously this is very early on, so a lot of things has changed, but you should be getting a good idea of it. So as you can see, um, in the middle, that's me, I'm moving around um, with an Xbox 360 controller right now. Um, and uh, other thing to notice on screen, so the bottom right, there's like a like an energy bar, which is my uh, resource bar for some of the moves I'll be performing later. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to move down here in this corridor. I see a guy over there. He hasn't noticed me, so I'm going to go behind him. That's a knife that I have right there. And I'm going to, you know, bam, knock him down. Awesome. Let's move on. I'm going to drop down the ledge. Here's another guy. Um, I just took out that guy with the stab, so I'm going to do something different. I'm going to grab him, and uh, he can't do anything because I have a knife to his throat. I'm taking to the ledge, kick him off, he falls to his death, it's pretty sweet, okay, so next off, I'm gonna come here, and uh, you know, normally we could just, you know, I guess, jump over, um, but let's not do that, instead, let's do this, and uh, that's kind of the feeling that we really want to go for this game, is that instant, like, boom in your face, teleporting across with smoke, and, you know, it's pretty sweet, so, um, there's kind of cool implications of having something like that. Um, so with with my controller, I can actually slow down time if I want to. So I'm going to do it here to show you how uh, I can switch that up. Because as you saw there, I teleported and then attacked him. Um, so here's something that, uh, well, you'll see. So that is another really cool thing that we found out while doing this is what if we thought of teleporting as a kind of linker? You know, you start off doing an attack and you teleport into an enemy. Uh, and that seemed pretty awesome. So so that was cool, but, you know, if we can take down one guy, why can't we take down two, right? So, again, I'm going to slow it down to make sure it's really clear for you to see. And that was one attack getting teleported into two guys. Um, as you can notice, my resource at the bottom right de gets depleted as I teleport, um, so, so there's a lot of limitations, I mean, if you, if you just teleport a bit, you know, it runs out and you have to wait for it to come back. Cool, so here are these lasers, um, I would get hurt if I went into that laser, so I'm gonna teleport through it, and, uh, there's a wall over here and I can't really, can't really go anywhere, I'm just gonna start teleporting, and, you know, boom, I just, like, hit myself, it's like, ah, oh, man, that hurts. Well, wait a second. I could probably use this to wall jump. And that was something cool that we came up with, a uh, kind of unexpected thing that happened. Um, so, yeah. So, anyway, here we get to a kind of Batman Arkham Asylum type setting um, where there's four guards in a room and uh, there's, like, all these pillars. And it's like, oh, man, I can't just go take them on because if I look closely using my focus vision right now, um, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but they're actually holding guns first guys were just having, you know, swords or knives or whatever, so we didn't have to fear them as much, but these guys were shooting far, so we got to be careful on what we want to do here. Um, so this is kind of like the planning phase that we're in. We're calling it focus mode, um, and I do that by pressing uh, the left button right now on the Xbox controller. I go into it, and uh, I get a cursor, and I'm going to be like, okay, well there's four guys, I can't take them all out at once. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first attack from behind this guy, and I placed a marker over there, if you can see it, I'm queuing up basically where I want to be teleporting, so I'm going to take these guys out, and then I'll come back up here and uh, see what happens, so I'm going to get out of this mode, my markers are still there so I can see who I'm going to start attacking, and uh, see how this turns out, again I'm going to do this in slow motion just to make it clear of what I'm doing, so I could just teleport in, but I actually want to start my attack. Um, so let's do that. Let's start an attack. Teleport. Take the first guy out. Turn around. Again, did the same thing. Oh, the camera's catching up. But I basically turned around um, and prepared myself for the next one. And uh, those two guys are still over there. So it's like, okay. This time they didn't see me. A lot of times I'll play through this where they will actually keep looking at me and shooting at me as I teleport back up there. So you gotta be careful. 
placed a marker right there, gonna get out of focus, go over here. I'm hidden behind the column, they haven't seen me yet. I'm gonna run here, grab him, gonna kind of move him around. I can teleport him with me as you can see. Uh, oh, he got shot by his own guys, I used him as a meat shield. And uh took them all out. Feeling pretty awesome right now, and in the distance I kinda see there's this like oh man, it's the boss dude. He's shooting really far. Um so let's see what we can do. You know, it's just kind of, we thought there might be some cool sections where you can, like, go down corridors and stuff. Uh, obviously a bit more extravagant than this, but it feels pretty cool just to, you know, dart forward. And dodge, kind of like Dragon Ball Z-esque. You know, when you get here, you know, like, haha, you can't get me. Teleporting all around him, and, you know, kill him, and, like, yeah. So, there it is. That's just kind of a really basic prototype to show you. Um, what we're looking for in the gameplay. Obviously, a lot more to come. But, uh, hope you are excited by what you see.